Hello and welcome Danger Links to another Danger Wednesday here on our live stream. Uh, thanks for coming and joining us. And uh, well, of course, it's being hosted by myself, uh, James, aka Foxy Lockhart. Uh, hello. And, uh, and this week we've got uh, two of the Danger Club here with us, as you can see. Uh, we have the unstoppable uh, Dan Janmaster. Hello, everyone. As you can uh, see, I'm presenting the weather here. Today. Yeah, he's he's about giving us a weather report on uh, on uh, the weather there. It's very nice, very nice backdrop uh, you've got there, Dan. And of course, we've got the very very special uh, Ross Harmston. Hello, Ross. Hello. I just had my you, uh, you, microphone you had on your, mute, but it's fine. On mute. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that's great. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey. How are you feeling, guys? Very good. Yeah, pretty good. I've been... How are you feeling? James, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah. It's been uh, well, it's been quite an event-filled week. Uh, lots of stuff going on, and mm. um, yeah, looking forward to to catching up with you guys because we've got something special to discuss. How about you, Dan? First of all, yeah, I'm pretty good. I've had this. This I can't. Remember, we didn't stream last week, but this has arrived. No, so I'm doing a lot of reading of this at the moment. I I hope um, that wasn't news because we have we got anything for the news segment. Uh, there's not really been a lot of Paizo news this week. I know there is no news hey, this week. <laughs> there is there is one bit of news is oh, that they're play testing. Um, oh god! <laughs> Thank you. Yes, of course, massive news. <laughs> oh well, um, yeah. That I that I forgot. When I say there's no news, I mean that I forgot to write the news down because I was prepping the other bits. <laughs> ah, I see. Attention. You heard it here first. News anchor is completely incompetent. Uh, hey, I'm a weatherman, enough. not a news guy. All right. <laughs> we have to do. We have to do a segment, don't we? Where we just go. Where it goes. Paizo news. Well, I know exactly who's doing the sound on the news. That's a really switch. aggressive voice. Join Paizo news. Um, yeah, I like it because <laughs> I think that's what Paizo want. I think they want an in-your-face sort of yeah. you know modern twenty-first century punchy, yeah, eighties esque. Some sort of Ray Winston sting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's exactly what we want. Um, but um, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so the um, do you, sorry, Ross, it was your news item. Do you want to talk about the? No, uh, you do. I'll do the intro, and then you okay. do the news. All right. So this is the news. <laughs> Piezo news. Let's listen to the Piezo news. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh -huh. um, so yes, there is a new playtest out at the moment. The um, the Starfinder playtest is wrapping up. I think it might have already finished the one for the nanosite and uh, the mech rules, uh, which will be coming out in a while. So that one's closing down, but there is now a new Pathfinder uh, playtest up and running for the two new classes that will be coming in Secrets of Magic uh, next year. So that is the Summoner and the Magus or the Magus. How do you how do you, how do you pronounce that? Magus, Magus, Ma Magus, Ma Magus, Magus, Magus. Oh, Magus! Let's throw yeah. Magus in there. Uh, <laughs> many, Ma many different yeah. ways of playing it. Hey, uh, Steve. So hey, <laughs> welcome, Steve. I'm oh, glad you could join us. Um, so, yeah, two classes very popular in first edition. Uh, Magus is um, a mixture of a sort of spellcaster and a sword. It's a, it's a bit like a Jedi, I guess. It's um, So you're swinging swords and you're charging spells into your sword and then hitting people and they go off. Um, it is a lot of fun and, and people really love them. The um, the summoner is obviously summons creatures, but not just, it's not like Pokemon. It doesn't just throw loads and loads of creatures out there. Although there is a first edition archetype that does that and it's one of the least popular uh, one of the most selfish archetypes you can play in Pathfinder because it just means you have about 10 characters on the board uh, and nobody else gets a turn <laughs> in combat. Um, yeah. I really want to play one sometime. It's it's always the problem with summoners, isn't it? Because it's just sort of like, oh, so it's my turn now and uh, I summon everything. And it's uh, it can get a little bit boring. With the, the way they get around it is they have a thing called an Eidolon. So it's a, it's effectively a pet class. So you have uh, another worldly being that might be sort of an angel or a demon, or a, uh, I'm sure there'll be some weird and wonderful things, interdimensional slime monsters and things. Uh -huh. uh, you have a creature that you create. And then as you level up, you add things to it, add effects to it and things like that. And you can even have like, it's like um that game spore like you can just stick extra legs and things on it if you want okay um 
And as you level up, it gets more powerful. And that's the the one thing that you bust out in the fight. So you can bring in other monsters uh, occasionally, but to stop you, you're just summoning loads of things. You have one big monster that you summon uh, oh. that does most of your summoning for you. And I can see how that would work very nicely in second edition. So I, I think that's going to be, you know, given how, how fun the, the animal companion rules are uh, mm -hmm. with the stuff you can do and, and the familiar rules, I, I think there could be some really fun stuff with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so they're exciting. I don't know if we're going to do any anything on it. We're kind of at the moment. We're still sort of reeling from from being a, trying to get back in the studio and and everything with that. Um, like that's enough work right now in terms of recording things. So we don't know if we'll like record something with the playtest characters. Um, it would be nice to, but we'll we'll see. We're not going to put anything on the slate with that just yet. Um, because we we just got back into the main story and we're, we're yes, enjoying we doing have. that right now. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, just tremendous. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool, very cool. Uh, so uh, yeah, no, no, lots of exciting, uh, exciting stuff going on there. Um, uh, of course, Matt has said uh, leggings check. Legging, right? I, knew, I I almost went and changed when Matt oh, came on uh, no. when I saw Matt join the stream. Are you oh, not? No. Are you not wearing leggings? Oh. Oh, oh, what the flip are they? I've never seen you wear jeans. I I had an, a job interview earlier today, so um, yeah, so I, I I had to look all grown up and not Wait. wear leggings. Wait, but, had, in person or on Zoom? Because they wouldn't be able no. to see your trousers, <laughs> would they? You I know, are I just... a weatherman. You're literally <laughs> you're just. It's got to be very sensible. I absolutely could have just worn like I just didn't feel. <laughs> I didn't feel I can wear leggings and a shirt. It just didn't seem right. <laughs> um, and I was just really worried I'd have to get up and go and get something. And I'd just be like, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, re I regret it. I, um, I, I, I regret it deeply because I, I could be wearing leggings right now. And I, if I'm not wearing, you know, if you're not wearing leggings, you should be wearing leggings. I know this. I'm going to go and put them on after the stream. That's going to be actually. I'm going to the gym. I can't do that. I mean, yeah. I mean, and, and then the, you know that that geese has flown, my friend. Uh, nobody wants to see yep. you in afterwards. I'll see you now. I could do a I could do a private live stream. Give me the Twitch login. I'll I'll. I'll I'm not giving it. the Twitch login for I'll a private the podcast just... involving you and your <laughs> leggings. Uh, Welcome to the crotch hour. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's cooking today? Um, <laughs> oh, it's balls. Uh, I, I so, will just point the camera at my leggings and then just recite verbatim sections of the core rule book. And, and that will be our <laughs> secondary Twitch show. Well, do you know what? I think I think Matt's forgiven you because he said that his meeting attire is shirt, suit, jacket and shorts. Uh, because yep. obviously, as, as Ross said, you can't see the bottom. Uh, yep. Hello, Steph. Uh, hey, Steph, Steph has joined us. Uh, Steve has said uh, he never does play tests. I end up forever confused between how things were in the play test and how things end up. Uh, yeah. Oh um, my god, so confusing. I mean, if you want, I sort of said on the Discord, but if like, if you want extra confusing because of the split in the times of of when we recorded our episode one hundred, um, and because of Sick Wolf appearing a year ago when we were first learning um, Pathfinder and it was only just out, mm -hmm. um, Brimbone was. Brimbone was a, a half elf, or an, it might have even been an elf. No, I think a half elf sorcerer in the Plague Stone one that we did. And then a year later, because it was coming around, Scott converted him to a witch because he'd always wanted to be a witch. So he'd, only, he'd done a, like a cult sorcerer just to kind of get around it. Uh -huh. So he made him a witch, a playtest a play witch back in March when we did the thing. And then when we did the re record, the real witch was out and so we then had to change his spells again and make him another one so yeah i unless you're really into play testing it's probably not worth getting crazy into it because it's you know it might confuse you later on it's better to just wait and enjoy it i think yeah no that's fair enough i mean it's kind of like it reminds me of early release games sometimes uh yeah. sometimes i see them and somebody think yeah i might have a punt on that because that seems quite fun and other times i'm like no 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 that really looks good i'm just gonna hold off you finish the game and you go for it, which can be heartbreaking because sometimes they never do. Um, had, yeah, I think we've both had Subnautica Below oh, Zero God. sitting on our uh, Steam accounts for over a year now, haven't That's we? Ridiculous, because we, we're both big fans of Subnautica. I kind of got down onto it the first one, and we loved it, absolutely brilliant. And then uh, we both, it was rather cute, we both gave it to each other for Christmas. Not this Christmas, I think the Christmas before. Yep. And uh, we've been waiting ever since for that game to come out of early release. And I'm, it, it's just not... 
It's not the same because I played the first one in early release and I really wish I hadn't because then I, when I went back to it, I didn't know what the heck was going on because like Steve said, everything had changed. Mm. It's like Savage Lands was, uh, wasn't that like a, <laughs> a beta Lands. when we played that? I we all played a game mate. called Savage Lands on uh, Steam, which was, yeah. Yeah. So it was a bit, yeah. 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 Um, it's uh, definitely. Oh, yeah. uh, sorry, I was just chuckling because Steph says she loves how, how protective I am over the Twitch login details. Yeah, that's mine. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, Savage Lands, I mean, it's probably quite good now. I mean, it's still going. And yeah. I do every now and hover over it and be like, shall I reinstall? No, no, I don't think so. But, um, <laughs> nah. Only because, nah, nah. Um, I, I remember on that game when we found a dragon and we were like, ooh, development. Because a lot of the game was empty because it was so new. And we yeah, found a dragon we were like, this is exciting. And the dragon chased us for days across the map Just um, and then murdered us. And so I looked it up online and was like, oh, how, how does the dragon work? Um, and they were just like, oh, no, the dragon's not finished yet. It just kills you. And we're like, oh, <laughs> like, there's no cool. there's no story. There's nothing connected Thank, to it. Thanks so much for that. That's uh, that's great. Yeah, and it really did kill you. Like, it didn't matter where you hit. Um, it would just be like, oh, I'm going to kill you now. There was no reset on and it. Just some rather cold, sad skeletons running around. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so big up uh, Savage Lands. They put a lot of work in. I'm sure it's really, really good. Yeah. Check it out. But we don't endorse it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at the yeah. same time, doing that. Very fair. But yeah. So, um, but yeah. So, what, what are we going to be talking about today? If we haven't got the weather and we haven't got any leggings, uh, what on earth Morning. could we possibly talk about? Well, we have got Ross. Um, we have got Ross. Uh, just talk about me for an hour. You, you, that's fine. You say it like this is a good thing. I mean, it's. Uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Hey. I love you. I'll just disappear into my black uh, virtual background. We've got. Doesn't work. We've got the <laughs> master work. of condition corner. Yeah. 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 So no. So today we're going to talk about um, actually another podcast rather than the, the Danger Club podcast. What? Or another whole project? I know. This right? is why you can't have the Twitch. Uh, <laughs> we're we'll log in on a completely different podcast. We're like, what is this? I'm going to completely swerve it. We're going to talk about this American life. Um, <laughs> no, we're going to talk about a thing called Super Smash Finder. So, Super Smash Finder? It's a good name, isn't it? So Super Smash Finder is a project that was created by uh, Jason from uh, What Do You What Do, you do um, which is a, a Twitter account, which is amazing and just advertises pathfinder and starfinder and general Pizerverse podcasts uh, and jason does an incredible job of just tracking down all of these podcasts and collating them into a list and then just finding people who are looking for rpg podcasts and saying here look at this list and and funneling people and we have i'm sure a lot of people have listened to our show because of what he's done and because of that twitter account so he is a an absolute um godsend to the the Pizerverse podcast podcasting community um, it's him uh, and uh, and Vanessa Hoskins, who uh, is from No Direction and um, uh, and from Paizo and all sorts. She's done loads and loads of stuff. But the two of them have come up with this new pro, uh, this new idea for a show, which is called Super Smash Finder. Now, Super Smash Finder is um, is a Paizoverse podcast battle tournament. So the idea is that lots of different podcasts um, from around the Paisoverse are going to put together teams of original characters. Those teams are then going to battle each other in a, an elimination tournament, um, a PvP tournament, to determine who is the mightiest podcast in terms of actual in-game playing um, of, of everyone. And uh, wow. there are rumors, there's like a, a, a real Ruby Phoenix tournament and the, the actual, I think the finals might be happening at PaisoCon or, they, you know, there's, the finals can be quite good. So they asked if we wanted to be involved in it. And I said yes, um, because I think we will be really, really bad at it. Um, yeah, but I think it will be quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, because you, I mean this isn't this isn't Dan operating uh, autonomously. He did put it to us and said, "Does anyone want to be involved in this?" We're like, "Yeah, yeah, it sounds. We're going to die, um, yeah. but we'll have a good laugh, and we'll, we'll I think we'll be the the, the light relief, as it were." Um, how does Ross feel? I mean, Ross, you're a big wrestling fan. Are you going to break out your luchador outfit? You're going to go in there, sort of, you know. 
I've got the championship belt already ready for us. You know, I think we're going to win this one. I think with our expert knowledge of Pathfinder um, and my amazing dice rolling, we're on to a winner, okay. I think. And uh, so have, have we got a Danger Wednesday exclusive? Are you going to use the Fulton Cursed Dice of Ones? I don't know, you know. I will see. We'll see what happens. I mean, maybe, maybe it might, the luck might, you know, turn around for those dice and uh, we'll be rolling some natural 20s. Probably not. Probably rolling natural ones, but we'll see. Probably, yeah. I mean, we have petitioned the Pope to uh, get them excommunicated <laughs> uh, because they are, they are sent from the devil himself. And so, Although, uh, yeah. we're all really good at smack talking and every time we smack talk, we always roll really badly. And so I feel that if we're up against actual other players and we smack talk, we're just going to get our asses handed to us, aren't we? It's going to be crazy. They, um, when they were setting up, Jason said, are you interested? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure we can put a team together in some form for it uh, and do something. And they said, oh, have you got, do you have any questions about it? And I was like, do we have entrance music? Um, and he was like, no, <laughs> I, I mean about like, I mean about like the rules for making the character and uh, like the, how the tournament's going to work. I was like, oh, yeah, we'll work that stuff out. Well, that's fine. Like we can just, just we'll just like neck the fourth beer and then uh, stroll on in. Um, oh yeah, I I don't think we'll be sober when we do this. I, I think is it in a ring? It, I hope it's, it's a, in a ring. I want ring. it to be in a ring. It's going to be on roll. <laughs> it's going to be on roll twenty. So if we can get into wherever they keep their mats, no, I, I don't. Like don't all of them with. <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought you thought I was thinking literally we're all going to be in a ring like on our computers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm hoping for sort of Star Trek early, you know, yeah. sort of like a ring of fire kind of yeah. fight to the death. Um, we've had some we've had some good responses, though. Uh, Matt's very Matt thinks we should get a custom set for it. He's very in. Um, yeah. Steph thinks it sounds amazing and yes was definitely the correct answer. Uh, and she'd also love to live in the fantasy world that Ross is living in. Wouldn't we all? It would be both glorious and terrifying, I think. And uh, Steve thinks they'd uh, they'd, they'd say, "Danger Club, it's your turn." Cue internal squabbling. I know that yeah. would be exactly what uh, was. I think that's pretty much. Yeah, yeah. The, um... So you're going to do anything with your turn? Oh, we are. We are arguing over pointless semantics and disappearing off down uh, down little do sorts we... of bits. Do we know our opponent? Yeah. No. So at the moment, it's uh, they're doing exhibition matches. So if we can get a team together soon then we can and sort out some times then we could have a couple of practice matches basically i'm not even sure if it's going out as the podcast yet it might be they might be holding off on actually recording it until the tournament so we might get a chance to practice a little bit and, and nah, get don't our, need practicing don't need uh, practice, practice well, for the we're really good yeah go straight I mean, in straight I find in the part like find the path that are in this tournament and they are one of the official um paizo podcasts and they their thing is that they're really good with rules. Like that's literally their set. Their USP is oh, that they, do you know, what that means? they really? know the rules better than anyone else. Do you, do you know what that means? They're officially going to be taken down. Oh, <laughs> the smack talk has begun. It's live here on Danger Club Wednesdays. Uh, Danger Wednesdays. Um, I have an actual question though. Like, yeah. how are they going to score it? Is it going to be completely arbitrary, or you know, how would you score such a thing as you know the theatre of the mind? Mean, there will be different types of match. Some of them will be like just a straight up death match. Last team with anyone standing wins. The um, oh, I see. The others might be like capture the flag. They're going to add a few other bits and bobs like that in for it. <laughs> capture but... the flag. I mean, what is it? What What would you like to do? Uh, like to pick up the flag, please. Go, okay, cool. You've got the flag. Yeah, we we. There we go. <laughs> Is it going to be like Call of Duty Warzone, where like we get put in a gulag and then have to fight one on one? Only people so. that play Warzone will only understand that. That's uh, a very niche reference. Yeah. yeah, I think there are hey. some people who do play a bit of Warzone. Mm -hmm. um, oh, apparently, apparently Matt did do capture the flag for his group, and it works well. Yeah, I guess um, there was um, the, back when back in the day, back in day when I used to play games. The best Games Workshop game, I think, that was ever produced by that company, um, bear in mind I haven't played it in years, was a game called Gorkomorka, which was... Oh, yeah. Gorkomorka was incredible. It was the Mad Max game. It was a bunch of orcs that had crash-landed on a planet. Um, 
and had no way off it and had lost any time they didn't realize that there was another world out there they just lived on this desert planet and all they did was build trucks and bikes out of old their old spaceship and have crazy mad max adventures and it was just the greatest game in the world it was so much fun but there was a game in that that was it was like a capture the flag like one of the scenarios was just like a race to somewhere load your trucks up with treasure and then try and race it back to your end zone without being blown up and it was it was so much fun how it will work in pathfinder i'm sure it will work quite well i can see very clearly what it's going to be it will ross will use one action to move to the flag one action interact pick up the flag do you want to do anything with the third action i go <laughs> <laughs> and just somewhere in the distance we hear scott meltdown um yeah. with fury <laughs> he's not even playing in this like i don't as far as i know i don't think he's joining us for this thing it's just <laughs> three of us and colin um but he will still be furious I think it will be, and, and, and there's a little bit. Um, I think I saw Matt playing Warzone on Discord, so I knew he played. Uh, apparently, uh, people who play PUBG or watch people who play PUBG, it has a Gulag one v one as well. Mm. Um, almost one would think that they stole the idea from PUBG. <laughs> um, who I knew? I would suggest they... that both of them stole the idea from Gulags. I mean, yes, they stole it from, you know, the Soviet Republic. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Don't talk to Dan about these online games. He is happy playing Red Dead Redemption 2, moseying around uh, on his own and single player just to like this is official dan bought a playstation to be more social and then proceeded (laughs) to play only single player games and refused every invitation to play a multiplayer game we've had i I bought i bought it because i was promised that red dead 2 would be coming out and we could all play together i bought red dead 2 decided i was just fine um and didn't feel the need to pay to be around other people i mean like it annoys i've talked about this in the podcast the bounty hunters annoy me enough in that game. Like, I get really annoyed when people mess with what I'm doing. If I'm out picking herbs, I don't want someone coming up to me and saying, oh, now it's a fighting game. I, I'm not interested in that. And it annoys me when the NPCs do it. It annoys me even more when some teenager from Wisconsin with numbers in their name does it to me. I have no interest in playing. I love that your top activity for Red Dead Redemption 2 is <laughs> picking herbs. <laughs> I'm getting some nice sage to put with the, the pig that I shot earlier and you're coming up to me in my grill telling me I committed some crime. How dare you? It's all about you? that Indian tobacco, um, man. I've never even been to Blackwater. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we've had some new people join us. Hey, Stu. Uh, hey, hey, Cryptini. Stu. Hey, Bucky. Um, nice to see you all. And... Um, Oh, well, thank you, Steph. Steph will play multiplayer games with us because, uh, you know, she appreciates, she appreciates, you know, multiplayer yeah. gaming. I don't mind it. The thing is with these these sort of shooty games is that they're so, you know, uh, I don't know if you've played Fall Guy yet. It's the new craze that's sweeping the multiplayer yeah, world. everyone's playing that. Everyone's it playing good. it. And it, it's, it is quite funny. It's like Takeshi's Castle. But um, the guy who does um, Zero Punctuation, so Zero Punctuation, he said that uh, it's like multiplayer gaming is to getting on a crowded underground train. I mean, you literally, it doesn't matter who anyone else is, you just sort of bump into them. It doesn't matter. Um, and that's kind of like the multiplayer, I think, that's quite fun. Um, returning slightly to the point, Cretini did make the good point of like, I'd be worried about anyone getting in a gulag with a barbarian. Yeah, how would you... That's going to get some really unfair matchups, isn't it? What? It's like, I'm no, an arcane but... master of lightning and wind, and you are a bard. Are you a bard? Sing us a yeah. song, uh, you know. Well, let me let me run you through the uh, the character creation rules that we're going to do. I don't think we're going to make full characters here today because we have to make level ten characters, which we've never done before. I, we've never made a character that are even you've never let us get anywhere close to level ten. I mean, you know, yeah. we're level four tops. Uh... I think I'm in a level <laughs> yeah. five, maybe just for just for funzos. I think some of the characters in the in episode one hundred were fives. So. Um, I've done that, but I, I, I've never, never anything as crazy as a, a level 10 character. And we've got to come up with a new concept, which we have ideas for. We do. So the, um, so the rules are, uh, we can have one team, uh, da, 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 it's a team of four. We can have up to six people in the team, but two of them have to be benched. So the game at any one time, so there's only four people actually participating. Um, so if you feel like dragging Drummond away from his family for another project, <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah. um, I guess I've come back to school now. I can deal with it. It's true. It's true. So yeah. the, uh, our team, 
so our team, the way it's composed, you're not allowed to just have four of the same character. So we, I, I feel like that was done with us in mind in case we just rocked up with four bards again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to you've got to change up the classes. They, well, so what it is, you have to have um, you have to have one heavy, one light, one caster, and then the fourth is a, a free choice. So your heavy classes are um, barbarian, champion fighter and ranger um, your light classes are alchemist investigator monk rogue swashbuckler um, and then your casters are bard cleric druid oracle sorcerer witch and wizard and then the fourth one is just three choice it can be anything interesting interesting yeah because it's, it's actually quite an interesting insight into how people view the different classes as well and how they're built because you wouldn't necessarily think it's sort of a barbarian and a ranger but rangers have got some crazy op things especially at level 10 um yeah. i mean you yeah. want to balance team don't you? you want someone that's fighting you know depending on what kind of game mode it is you want someone fighting up close you want someone ranged doing some damage and then you could also have some spell casters as well yeah and it's also um, worth thinking about what kind of team ethos you've got are you all about that sort of you know damage per second or are you sort of thinking more of the long term or you know yeah, because Stu's I, made the point, no healer. It's like, yeah, would you maybe sacrifice a healer? I guess, Do you want just all damage? Well, I all guess they damage. wouldn't. Is there a, isn't there there a rule that there's no healing, or is that literally... No, no, you can heal. Um, that, like, how, there's a, fights there's have a gone on for so long. <laughs> it, it, well, there's a, there's a sort of out-of-character rule that um, there are clerics present. Like, that's how they're explaining it, is nobody perma-dies in it. If you get killed, you're, you revive at the end of the tournament, at the end of the mm. match, so you right. can fight. Um, you get so you can pick a few things. APG classes, APG stuff is allowed, which is nice. All the new stuff you get, um, like I say, it's level ten characters. You get two uncommon options, uh, not including stuff that is granted to you by feats and choices like that. So you can pick two weird things if you like, which we should pick like weird. But I think they're rare. The, the weird backgrounds. I don't think they count. Um, and then, yeah, everything gets kind of reset afterwards. Oh, and we ha- you have to buy all of your gear. Uh, and there are some rules on how you do because there are rules on how you buy gear if you're making a level a high level character. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it's an interesting one. So we it, it, well, it is quite interesting. Yes. And, and just to just link into that, we have got uh, we fired the imagination of the dangerlings here. Uh, we've had quite a lot of ideas. Um, We've got some different selections, like uh, Matt thinks healer build crowd control. Uh, Stu wants to go for fighter buffer healer. Classic, classic mm-hmm. combo. Uh, Kryptini thinks that damage dealing exceeds healing in second edition, which actually there's the, I think there's a case for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Steve thinks we maybe four healing based characters just to bore opponent, opponents into submission. Uh, <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> just literally just be like, <laughs> whoop, heal, mass heal, whoop, mass heal. Yeah, come we'll on, just, bro. It'll literally be the Belgium of the, the sort of, you know, the fighting <laughs> fantasy world. We'll all take the medic archetype and we'll all just max decks. Um, and every, and as soon as it starts, we'll just do total defense every round. Yeah, <laughs> and just, just sit there. Shut just up, shop. Carrying Eventually they will die of old age um, or, or starvation. Um, indeed, indeed. I mean, so what, what can we do? What are we going to do? Are we going to talk so, about our team makeup today? Yes. So we needed to... Um, we had to come up with a concept because we can't just roll it. We're not just going to roll in with the danger club uh, and have sort of Fulton and Velda and, and everyone um, come up there because, uh, you know, I'd have to have a character and uh, I don't want to, I don't want to subject Captain Gumbo to being a level we 10 We don't want Captain <laughs> Gumbo on our team. That is not someone I'd recommend for the all-star lineup <laughs> yeah. for going up against some official podcasts. Who have you brought? Oh, this, this rubbish goblin captain that we found on a barge. <laughs> Uh, who's probably not and even he's a now captain. Like really, and he's now really buff. He's got like really buff arms because yeah. you know, yep. he's level 10. But he probably have like really weak legs still. So he'd just be dragging his <laughs> yeah. massive arms and... Yeah, no. We're not he's taken the celebrity up. archetype and just poured all of his <laughs> levels up yeah. to that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Matt. Matt Samuel Sharp, James. Love Gumbo. <sighs> There's I, a... mean, he, yeah, we, I like Gumbo, but he's not... I wouldn't put him up as the, you know, I'm imagining in my head a kind of more of a blood bowl scenario, you know, where you've got sort of teams yeah. trotting out on the pitch to to do battle with their sort of uh, arcane wizardry and stuff. And um, I just can't see Gumbo going out there. 
Um, Ooh, riding Drake is an uncommon option, so you could have that. You could have a Riding Drake. I'm just looking through the APG uh, at the moment. There are some... God, there's so much stuff in here. So what's our, so, what's our team... So we have on, what's I, our team name? We were talking about it, and I th I think we have I think we have a team name which I think we can take and run with, and that is Cobalt Kai. We are going to be the Cobalt Karate School um, with the motto: Hide first, hide hard, no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're sat on our stall early there to be uh yeah no kryptonite it's cobalt kai yeah we're getting some love for that that's good um so we're gonna have four we're gonna have four kobolds <laughs> um let's just like i've got the apg up at the moment let me find the kobold let's find some of the kobold feats i mean we're totally not constructing I've an entire here, team to go into want. a tournament around a bit Definitely not doing that. That's very undanger club. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so like look at some like so we're gonna we can have cringe. Yes, they've got cringe. <laughs> I love cringe. I love cringe so much. Cringe is one of my favourite. Cringe and grovel uh, are two of my favourite um, feats in in second edition, and they're both cobalt ones. So cringe is with it's a reaction to so react it when somebody criti critically hits you. Uh, with pitiful posturing, you cause your foe to pull back a deadly attack. The attacking creature takes a penalty to his damage, um, to the damage of the strike, equal to your level plus two. This penalty applies after doubling the damage of the critical hit. The, the cr attacker is then immune to your cringe for 24 hours, but not, crucially, somebody else's cringe. So we can, keep we can hit them cringing. with a barrage away. of cringes. Just be like, no, I'm really sorry. No. So if they hit you at level 10, if they hit you, you can reduce the damage by 12 just by looking so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, splendid. Um, there, are, oh, there, are, there are just so many. Um, we could set, they can set traps if we get the hang of that. What's Grovel again? Um, oh, yeah, I think Grovel, Grovel is a ranged, really being it's a ranged feint, basically. So you can make your opponents flat footed by just getting on your knees and begging and if one and begging at one of them and if they believe it then they become flat footed which could be amazing if you then have a rogue ready to jump out and, uh, and hit them <laughs> uh, i'm talking like this is a, a powerful build it's it's not at all no we are literally setting ourselves up just to, to make people laugh and to to fail um but you know what, what were you going to say ross nothing no i wasn't going to say I, the thing i know what i'm going to be yeah what you're thinking I think I'm going to be uh, a, well, a spell, spelly spell, spell. A spelly man. spell spell. A spelly spell spell. A speaking spell. Uh, a spelly kobold. Um, and he's going to be an undertaker. Uh, and he's going to be, yeah, he's just going to be the undertaker. He's just going to have a little <laughs> undertaker's hat. Uh, I mean, and a little is... undertaker cloak. I mean, I mean we... you're going to get all the wrestling references from me oh, yeah. during so, this tournament. So. so this is basically this is a Karate Kid WWF mashup <laughs> that you've got going yeah. on in your mind. Oh, it's going to always. I feel oh, I'm like gonna... I'm trapped in oh. your in your sweaty teenage <laughs> pocket. This is. <laughs> <laughs> You 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 have been. Um, I will be. I will be. <laughs> you will. Um, be. <laughs> uh, yeah. There although are, um, oh, there's so many weird archetypes that we could do. So yeah. which, which version of the Undertaker are you going to be? Are you are you going to be? Is he going to change gimmicks in between matches? Are maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He gets on a little m motorbike. Uh, starts driving around. That'd be good. Um, I might be a vigilante. <laughs> Nice. You, you have been you keep pouring over the vigilante just because it's so rubbish but the thing is in this would you get a chance to be your alter ego no that's why it would be <laughs> really fun. well you could but it would be entirely pointless to the like you just run behind a tree and come back out dressed as a butler like ed johnson <laughs> well that'd be quite funny what why would you why would your alter ego be a butler dan like what is this thing about servitude you've got i mean literally <laughs> nah. it could be anyone it could be like a batman clone you want to be iron man no no i want to be butler no no the butler. i want to be, be alfred, alfred. Yeah, yeah i just want to be like, alfred 
the other guy is the super it's the perfect cover for a superhero because everyone expects like every superhero's got a butler like batman has a butler but what if batman actually was the butler and the butler was really bruce wayne that would throw everybody off i mean what if what if batman doesn't have a butler and he is alfred and alfred is batman so all those <gasps> shots you see in the house he's actually talking to himself alfred that's just why he never gets a cup of tea or alfred doesn't do anything alfred just sort of comes and speaks to him Man, there's a there's a switch what if his what if his over. parents were never murdered in the orgy Ooh. what if yeah. he is his parents and alfred <laughs> <laughs> that's like we're doing the joker uh, film oh yeah <laughs> discussion after the joker film yeah um we we could so something else we could also do the martial artist archetype is not locked is, is not an uncommon one so anyone could take that so we could have all so all four of us could take that dedication and a cup and like a feat or something from it since we've got 10 levels to throw around and then all four of us would know karate in addition to all of our other things yeah i mean surely that's the point people will be expecting this follow-up on the bit and we will be like no nah, we just came up with a name <laughs> i feel like I we came up with a name it's first actually, apparently it's all about wrestling which uh you know two of the danger club are obsessed by but the rest of us yeah i don't know anything about wrestling really <laughs> Isn't Giant Haystack still about? Uh, No. (laughs) No. I mean, even I know that, (laughs) Russ. I, um, you know, Andre the Giant. Steve, who did, who was the artist on Moon, asked that to a a wrestling company where I think it was like, I can't remember, I think it was like Progress or or Rev Pro or somewhere like that, uh, where they were at Comic Con doing an exhibition match. And um, and we went along there and, and he asked them, does giant haystacks wrestle for you? And I thought they were going to actually kick. They were so pissed off (laughs) (laughs) to hustle him away. That's the last thing I ever looked at with wrestling. I mean, that was when we were kids. So we're talking like 35 years ago, you know, I think it was when you were a kid, James. (laughs) No, what? what? When when was he? Like, cause that was, he was still famous, wasn't he? Giant haystacks is like the 1970s. (laughs) Is he? Oh, wow. (laughs) So I've just shown live on air my complete lack of knowledge about wrestling. I mean, I did, to be fair, I had a period of my my uni days when we used to watch it with The Rock and The Big Show. Yeah. Big Show. Yeah. Not so long ago were they, were they? Dwayne Johnson. The Big Show show got cancelled. I'm really sad about that. He had a sitcom called The Big Show Show. Um, Where he plays a wrestler that's just finished wrestling and now he has to look after a family. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. What so, else could? And then oh, hijinks and tears. So I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this on uh, Ross and Dan because obviously yeah. they can't see the uh, the questions, the comments. Um, but Stu's granddad fought Shirley Crabtree. Oh, Big Daddy! So Big Daddy good. was that Big Daddy? All oh, right. Big okay. Daddy, oh, there's Big Daddy. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, his granddad fought Big Daddy. Uh, apparently it was just over a pack of fags in the local news agents and you know big daddy was trying to get it no it wasn't it's going to be a fight um some of us remember yeah. the 70s said steve yeah i know i well i wasn't born then uh thankfully <laughs> it's getting rarer that i can say i wasn't born in a, in a, in a decade um, so giant haystacks was born in 1946 and died at uh in 1998 big daddy uh no giant haystacks oh giant haystacks really yeah mm. oh. anyway um, yeah, his granddad was a semi-pro, you know. Uh, and enough also, about this wrestling. Enough about this wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> it's not well, a wrestling yeah, podcast. I mean, it's, it's not a wrestling podcast. podcast. I mean, you, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was sometimes the YouTube. <laughs> Still it, talking. Luckily, I used to have a wrestling podcast. It's rubbish. It's still on YouTube. If you can find it anywhere, then um, I mean, it involves you, spoons. Didn't you do your? Yeah. Didn't you do a three-hour show and then forget to record it? We did <laughs> yeah. once. Yep. Yeah. We did a three-hour <laughs> show. We'd forgotten to record it. Um, the lost tapes. Yeah, like uh, Steph found old student films that Scott had been in, I think, somewhere. Which, like, she, they'll, the Dangerlings will find this. Everything's somewhere. on the internet. Um, oh if you do, God. like, we stopped doing it when one of the videos we made got two views, and there were three of us in the show. So we decided <laughs> that was a good sign that we. One of you happen. isn't watching your own show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh dear! I mean, it's so, we've, so we've got our name. Yeah, we've got our name. Uh, we're gonna probably be a martial artist. Yeah, I, I like the idea um, that we should all take the martial artist dedication, unless one of us is a monk. I think we can have somebody be a monk, and because there's a drunken master arc, um, monk path as well, so you could be like 
like the guy from Cobra Kai. You could just be this drunk kobold who knows karate, which I think could be fun. Should we? I think we should let the dangerlings choose what classes we play. Really? This will be harder for this will be harder for Colin because Colin is not here. Well, can um, we give them? I think I think rather than select that because obviously people don't have the advanced player guide and things like that to to hand. I mean, maybe you do. Um, should we get? Should we start a little bit broader and just sort of okay. pick the theme? Should it be themed? So we are going with Co- Cobalt, Cobalt Kai. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want it to be a kind of a karate based <laughs> shtick? Uh, are we going to carry on with that? Um, also, uh, Matt says, "Is this American podcast? As Triple K might not be a great wrestler name for a kobold. Is there a wrestler <laughs> called Triple K? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Triple H. Oh, I see. But triple, triple K, K he's for a co- kobold. Co- uh, <laughs> yeah, Triple K. No, let's let's not let's let's not do Triple K. Um, so, so Matt thinks Gunslinger. Imagine that. Matt, what a way to drive your podcast off a cliff after yeah. after two years of work and building our audience. If we just turn up." Yeah, and it's wrestling, so we'll all wear hoods. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Uh, so, yeah, so so what a danger like special K. Uh, <laughs> we might get a special K, to be honest. Um, so what do you think, Danger Links? Do, do, what, should we be uh, sort of, you know, kobold-based karate masters? Or would you like a sort of wrestling-themed or a bit of everything? Should we actually go for a serious team build-up? Or should we just completely knock it into the long grass? Uh, what should we do? So everyone's thinking about it at the moment. Excellent. What do you guys think? So we, I think a mix. Yeah, I think a mix, mix would be good. I think just um, I, I think whatever happens, we have to double down on it. We have to be because that's one of the things about kobolds is that they they think they're the greatest thing in the world right up until they start grovel- groveling and begging. Like they they think that they are mighty dragons until things go wrong. So I think we should lean into that. I feel like we should do, um, I, I feel like we need to go in there like, like Ross has been doing. We need to be full bluster all the time. And then, but we're also just generally we're... Ross is just generally full bluster all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Imagine if we win a match, it will be, It'll be so weird. <laughs> We're like, oh, we we won. This is weird. I mean, remember these aren't going to be level ten kobolds, so they're going to be. You know, we might have some tricks up. Do our we sleeve. have to come back after the rec- like? Is it or is it done in one day? Or what, are you, like, are you hoping back? to like burn bridges here? Is that the idea? No, no, that? no. I mean, is in like if we win, <laughs> do we then right? do we stay on to like then go to or do we have to come back and record another the next I, round? I believe that is the idea. Yes, that the. Um, cool. But they they scheduled the records because obviously it's people all around the world. So you, yeah. you sort of sort it out with your um, thing. I assume there will be a referee of some kind. For them. Yes, uh, the dungeon master would well, be right. Yeah, I guess you'd have a, an independent GM to sort of to, to sort of run things. Yeah, you'd hope. Yeah. Um, I mean, surely there's got to be some sort of uh, some kind of authority figure there reigning over the chaos. Again, I'm thinking more Blood Bowl. I, I suppose that's my only reference for this kind of one on like sort of combat based mm. games. Um, yeah. At the moment, people are thinking or they're, they're sort of you know, listening in the background because we've got a group of domestic cleaners. Nice. Uh, uh, Matt said Grammaton Cleric. Grammaton what is a Grammaton Cleric? I don't know what Grammaton Cleric is. I'm not sure what that is, Matt. Um, well, I know what a cleric is. Uh, I like clerics very much. Hmm. Well, so, it seems. What would, so? What, what do you think we should do? So, so you think of mix, Ross? What do you think? I mean, I definitely down with whatever we do. We go full bore. There's no half half hmm. cuts. Like we're just gonna just smack straight in there and go all the way. Uh, Stu loved Blood Bowl as a kid. Had a team of werewolves. They were crap, apparently. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh, from the Equilibrium film, Gun Martial Arts. Hmm. Oh. Unfortunately, third-party books are not allowed, so we can't get the gunslinger rules just yet. Darn, darn it! Yeah, uh, yeah Matt's it, though, all about they? he's all about the gunslinger. He's suggested it twice. Uh, I'm a bit of gunslinging. I mean, I do like gunslingers. That would be quite funny. I mean, that would just be the scene from Rose of the Lost Ark, you know, where it's just <laughs> yeah. sort of like this incredible wizard would just go bang, shoot. Um, yeah. That'd be funny. God, can you imagine kobolds with guns? Kobolds with guns. Kobolds. No, what if the cinema knew you? Kobolds <laughs> with guns. Starring kobolds. Um, <laughs> They've shoot. got guns. Yeah. It shoots bees, apparently. Uh, I mean, I'd like they a gun. They shoot bees. They shoot bees, not bullets. 
<laughs> How about an A team style group, the K team? Um, I mean that somebody has mentioned obviously special K as in you know uh, it's it's street reference uh, as it, yeah. So we are uh, <laughs> we could be the K team, I suppose, but we know we're going to be Cobra Kai. Co- no, no, we're not Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. That's Bald the original Cobalt <laughs> Kai. That's quite difficult to say now. Cobalt Kai. Cobalt Kai. Kai. Um, we're gonna have to get a logo done, aren't we? We're gonna have to. Oh yeah, and a theme tune. Oh, theme tune. Some kind of yeah, some kind of eighties theme tune. Yeah, got to do that. Got to stick <laughs> it in there. Let's see if there's any um, sort of uh, royalty-free synthwave. I mean, I'm surprised to find that. I love my synthwave. Um, can our can our names all be just pun names on eighties movie stars? Yeah. Yeah. Is that can I, be. Uh, what was a kobold? Yeah. Could the kobolds all be? I I can't. But can they all? Yeah come up with like names that are to do with that are all references to it because it's if it's cobra if it's kobold kai it's got to be an 80s throwback that's the whole kind of point of it i suppose so um <laughs> steph just got the call with the boss and heard turn the volume back up and time to hear kobolds with guns what <laughs> have i missed a lot uh, mm-hmm. yes you have uh kobolds with guns yeah kobolds. we could do well there could be something to think about but i think we're definitely getting a lot of love for kobold kai uh kobold kai is the is the one i think that's a great idea and um we could stick them all with a bit of martial arts and then give them all their sort of like little personalities uh little mm. quirks i mean if we is there an 80s wrestler that, that ross could name his after if you're going for that Hulk, sort of Hulk, uh, Kobold? Hulk, no. Kobold? Or off the top of your head. Yeah, that was, yeah, there we go. Uh, Let me tell you something, brother. I'm going to bench press 255 pounds of pure Kobold meat right up in your ass, brother. Literally, you brother. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Some, uh... <laughs> uh, uh, the question is, was that Hulk Hogan in the 80s or was that Hulk Hogan now? Uh, so, <laughs> oh, we could name one wax on, another wax off. Yeah, because there's another thing we could go That's for. Like, you know, we got st- st- the film that we could mm. take uh, those. Because what was it, Danny? Was it Danny, the karate kid? Danny LaRusso. Danny LaRusso. But w- was that his actual character? Now? I can't remember. I feel like you haven't seen Cobra Kai, James. I, I haven't like seen Cobra is... Kai. I mean, I yeah. haven't either. But I haven't, I haven't got around to it yet. But I will watch Cobra Kai. Uh, here's here's are... an omission. I it's... probably ha- haven't not... seen Karate Kid. Uh, what? All the way through. All the way. I've seen bits of it, but I haven't seen. Oh, it. mate. I mean, it's. Oh. <laughs> How many are there? There's two, you didn't isn't even there? Know if he was called Danny Larusso. I mean, to be fair, I've seen Karate Kid. When when we were kids, they used to show them a lot, but they never show them now. And I don't really watch TV, so um, I haven't seen I haven't seen any of the Karate Kids in a long it, time. It's on the first one's on Netflix, along with Cobra Kai, so you can go and watch both. Can, yeah, yeah, Cobra Kai is incredible. Cobra Kai is such a good show. Yeah, um, it is. It, it's good on yeah so many layers. Dan um, wrote it. That's why he's bigging out. I, I wrote. Cobra- <laughs> he wishes yeah. he wrote Cobra Kai. Uh, <laughs> that's it, Danny. Yes. Um, if, I, if I were at Cobra Kai, I could wear leggings whenever I wanted. I wouldn't have to wear jeans for job interviews, I could tell you. No, well, Wasn't they, it a... they don't wear leggings. They wear sort of their karate pants. You know, G. A gi. A gi. A gi. <laughs> karate pants. Hey, Although karate I know pants. That um, Cobra, Kai, uh, Cobra Kai wasn't that originally a YouTube series at first. Yes, when it, yes came it was out. a YouTube series for a while on that YouTube premium. You know the thing that YouTube tries to sell you every five minutes while you're trying <laughs> yeah. to watch videos and nobody subscribes to? Um, apart from drum subscribed to it by accident uh, but <laughs> fortunately, drunk I think and couldn't understand why nobody else had seen Cobra Kai and it was because only he had access to it but it's <laughs> now been bought by Netflix and they've the whole series is on Netflix which is why it's kind of suddenly blown up even though it's it's been around for a little while right um, but it's, it, it, it is brilliant so it is without this turning into the Cobra Kai podcast it, it's it's set in the same town as Karate Kid and it's set like in the present day so what 30 years later after after cry kid and it's about the kid who loses to danny larusso like the bully who loses in the final and what has become of his life since then and um ralph maggio is in it so it's kind of a reverse like perspective and it's all right very good i think i think we're all sold um Steph is also selling Ross on uh, what he's watching. A typical teenager trying to fit in and getting bullied until he learns karate and kicks butt. 
I mean, it's basically the story of Ross's life, except for the karate and the kicking butt. So yeah. just uh, to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the kobolds called Danny LaRue. Danny Ooh. LaRue. Yeah, Danny. Um, There's something also, there, sure. uh, I hate to say this, but Stu called Ross Scott. Uh, he did that. Everyone calls me and him like everyone calls me and him diff- uh, by each of our. We have a we have a combined name because we often work together. That's Scoss. Um, wow. So yeah, you can call us that. Like I don't Ross. really mind. Are you gonna, are gonna yeah, like that yeah. yeah, or Scrot. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Scrot. Or Scrot. Oh, so you are watching a look at the, the chat. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> you watching yourself on our own Twitch channel. <laughs> wow, the vanity. <laughs> the vanity. Um, All right, so we've got um we've got Kobold Kobold Kai. We've got um, sorry, sorry, what so, was that? Kobold Kai. Kobold Kai Kobold Kai Kobold Kai. Kibika. Kimika. Kimi Kimi Kimichi. Kimichi. Um we've got Kamal Kamal Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel. Uh just <laughs> anyone cheating right now be like is this the scat channel is this like <laughs> skibbity pop skibbity pop skibbity pop skibbity pop skibbity pop skibbity pop so give him a lot backup if Colin didn't turn up I mean I hate to say it we, we've got seven minutes of official time left we can't run over for a few minutes but let's just spend the whole thing, <laughs> yeah, let's thing yeah. right let's choose some classes right we've got let, let's work out what our because we've got a group of kobolds who have learned karate and are going to try and prove themselves we get oh. all character choices. I'll um, be a barbarian. I have oh. to, I, yeah, okay. I'll be a barbarian. Uh, th- I think I'm going for the wrestling, like pure, just like muscle. Um, nice. Uh, I'm incredibly thinking. strong kobold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stu says, got to have a monk. Um, got to have, have a monk. I haven't played a monk yet. Uh, I know that quite a few of the Danger Club have played monks in various bits and bobs. Yeah, uh, it was all in the Schneier adventure, wasn't it? Yeah. Never, never, never played a monk. They are tough. Do it. They've got some incredible skills. Play uh, a monk. Yes. Ross wants to rage, brother. Yes, he yeah, does. Exactly. That's, yes, why, he does. that's why I'm doing it. Um, all right, James, so, you do be a monk. Go on. Barbarian. All right, I'll be a monk. You'll be a monk. All right. So you can that. So what uh, am I going to do? So that takes up our heavy and our light. So that means we need a caster and then we have a fourth one that we can choose from anything. So we need either a bard, cleric, druid, oracle, sorcerer, witch, or wizard. Um, shall I take <clears> that, <throat> I guess, and then Colin can, by virtue of no showing the live stream, get a free choice of character? Yeah, I guess so. So what what That's you got, got to pick there, Dan? So I've got to pick between bard, cleric, druid, oracle, sorcerer, witch, or wizard. Well, Stu says you need a healer, Bard. Mm. I, I mean, hate Bards. Yeah, and also... I don't think do we, we need a we, healer. We, do we need a healer? That's nah. not the karate way. You just keep <laughs> punching and kicking until you're either on the floor or you win with bloodied hands. Yeah. Yeah, um, exactly. So, uh, well, yeah, we could, we could always sort of discuss that. I mean, it, it's quite... It, that, that is something we need to... Stu, Stu loves the Bard. Uh, Stu... You know, it's it's whether or not, as I said earlier, we we go for damage per second or we go for a sort of more regular build. I think being kobolds, they we need them to underestimate this. Then we go in there and punch them below the belt. Some, so we some go for tricks. all of the most unfair things that we can we can think of. Um, well, no, but just sort of like they although they won't do that. And then actually, yes, we've got a barbarian now. We've got a monk. Uh, Steve thinks a sorcerer would be cool. Um, it's not the Cobra Kai way, Cobol Kai way. No healer. Yeah. Lol, says Steph. I'm not sure she's being yeah. serious there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lol three off. Zone. Yeah. No healer. What um, kind of character do you want to be? That, the only reason I picked Barbarian is because I want to be a, either Hulk Hogan or Arnold Schwarzenegger because we're yeah. going with the whole 80s vibe. Yeah. Uh, I think That's I'd like I to be the sort of the contradictory sort of monk sort of wise man he's preaching peace and like no 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 we shouldn't do this at all and then proceeds to like punch the crap out of everything everything moving so you're um, like iron fist no i am absolutely <laughs> not like iron fist i don't i had never watched iron fist but i know that from everyone's reactions to talk about it iron fist is rubbish uh no more like um Rand. yeah mr Miyagi was a healer well clapping his hands i mean how did he heal him by clapping his hands exactly i mean it's just it's ridiculous it is not worth it no uh but i think maybe i'll have a think about that but some sort of some sort of monk I, I am 
James is Danny Rand. That's who he is now. <laughs> now everyone else, Danny you've heard Rand. it here. He's, he is no Iron Fist. Oh, no. <laughs> I nearly got an Iron Fist tattoo once, back when healing. it was just some. Did you actually? He was yeah, not a it... healer. <laughs> back when, back when it was some obscure. When we moved to London, I was going to get a tattoo, and I was like, "What can I get a tattoo of?" I was like, "Oh, this really niche kung fu comic that only I read. Like that'll be good because no one will ever know what it is, and it will be like really." Thing. And then were you, I, I were you going to get a fist and... tattooed on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get. Were you going to get it on your chest? Uh, no, I was going to get it like on my arm. Oh, okay, but the, so um... you're going to get a fist. Above your fist, yeah. <laughs> but wow. it, um, yeah, I, I didn't have the money for it, so I could be the one guy with the tattoo of the really bad Netflix show. I want to play something insane. I want to play like I might. I'm also really tempted to take the Beastmaster archetype with something and have like and just come running in with like rhinoceroses and just loads <laughs> of animals. <laughs> like I, I want to play something. I mean, it's not what you want to play, Dan. Like, we've followed the whims of the Dangerlings, and then you're like, I want to play this. It's no, like, I'm well, giving what you... What's the Dangerlings, the dangerlings, dangerlings have not... Dangerlings a lot of people said... A lot of people I, said uh, Bard for you. Oh, God, I, but I hate them so much. <laughs> nah, are, you gonna, no, are you guys going to make me play... It's not true. No, don't listen to Ross. Stu said Bard, and he said it three times. So that's not <laughs> yeah, lots that's of people. Yeah, that's of people. <laughs> that's not how voting <laughs> works. And then put a face oh. stick and a tongue out. Um, what do you do, Pods? I'm not sure who's behind that, but hello. Oh, that's uh, that's Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. That's the guy behind the tournament. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, he no. says rhinos. Bard yeah, well, Bard. Um, exactly. I mean, it's... Is this not giving him an unfair advantage? What? Giving who an unfair advantage? Jason. J Jason's organising the tournament. He's not in he's it. Not... He's not the like, he's final the, guy that we have to the fight. Boss fight. Yeah, no, he should be <laughs> the boss. He should he's just not be like... the M. Bison. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not... he's not the guy from Mortal uh... Kombat who organises his own tournament. Oh, that would be fight people. Oh, that's rubbish. Uh, no, yes, um, he says, no, I'm the organiser, I'm not competing yet. <laughs> but I definitely think you should. I think it should be the big boss fight at the end. You should be like the Mecha Godzilla of tournament organisers. be like, He invites well us into you his... Get, in, you win into the award it. once you defeat me! <laughs> yeah. And then tears off his shirt and just goes... Yeah. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. So, That's um, so funny. Uh, the... but, so we've got a sorcerer. Sorcerer first, Dan, Steph said. Sorcerer. I mean, sorcerers, yeah. pretty, they're pretty tasty. There's some um, good sorcery stuff. I, yeah, and I can do a lot with into sorcerer. It, Jason. Definitely, definitely do what, that. Or Mechagodzilla. What, what are the 80s archetypes? So we've got Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You've got... Uh, you've got uh, Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren. Yeah. Yep. You've got, got, uh, you can do Lost... You can take the Dampire um, versatile heritage and make a kobold Dampire and do Lost Boys. <laughs> Have a kobold thing. vampire with a mullet. But but, yeah, but I don't think that's quite going for the hard man image. I mean, they were sort of prancing <laughs> dandy boys <laughs> who happened to suck blood. Uh, you know, it's not really the, oh, you know, the, uh, Adrian. Uh, there was also, of course, what's it, Van Damme, you know. Mm. Um, you could be sort of, you know, Jean-Claude Van Slam or something, I don't know. Uh, who else was there? there was, uh, what, was, what was the guy, the cook? Who could kick? But he's actually he. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. That's the one. Steven Seagal. Uh, there we go. And I, if it isn't played, called Streisand, I'll be disappointed. Streis I played Streisand. Steven Seagal in an exalted campaign once that some friends were running, and I was like, I don't really want to learn all the rules for this new game. So can I just play something weird that's kind of not shocker? I know uh, for me, that's not really. Um, this doesn't really fit with the rules and they're like oh you can play the chef and uh, and you can know some kung fu but you'll probably get killed in the first fight and then i did nothing but just roll like massive numbers every fight and this ridiculous kung fu chef just survived the campaign <laughs> while <laughs> contributing nothing to the team <laughs> fair enough uh, Steven Seagal, Tengu Monk, that would be excellent. However, uh, something you've missed, Jason, uh, when you watch about the video is, uh, well, do you want to reveal what our team is going to be? Yes. So, Jason, our, um, I, I'm, I'm very happy to tell you that we will be joining the, t uh, the tournament as Kobold Kai, the, uh, the Kobold Karate School. So there we go. Um, he's put a smiley face i'm not sure if that's good or bad that he's hiding his uh, his dismay yay he says very good we have a thumbs up from jason Excellent. um yep so that's very very good 
Oh my, that's amazing! Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, we yeah, we're all about the uh, the themes and the bits, but we're really looking forward to it. And we're coming up with some ideas of what to come up with. So we think we're going to go for a barbarian and a monk, maybe. Uh, mm-hmm. That was quite uh, sort of thought about. Dan, maybe sorcerer. I'm guessing if that's what the dangerlings do, get on the get on the Discord. Give Wait, me some get on ideas. the Discord. I and, think we and give Colin some ideas as well, because Colin's got free choice of any class in the game. Yes, yes, that's a very good point, Dan. Don't forget that we do have our Discord, which if you're not a member of, do jump on there as well. Uh, the uh, just Danger Club podcast sort of channels, isn't it? If you just join on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm not sure if it's got a funny name because some of them got funny. No, no. Names. If, if you go to if you any any one of our things, go to dangerclubpodcast.com and you will see a list of all of the different things that we have down yes. there and just click on them. <clears throat> It'll yes. take you right to it. So we got that. And um yeah do do start the uh start the chats, start the discussions about this because I think that we've kind of launched this on people and uh I think given some time people are gonna come up with some really, really good and interesting ideas. Uh there's lots of oh uh, and Matt's actually put a link to the Discord in the chat, so thanks Hey, hey. and uh and we are now officially sanctioned by Jason uh, of this this tournament. And uh what was the tournament again, Dan? It is Super Smash Finder. Super yeah. Smash Finder. I believe they are at Smash Finder on Twitter. So go and follow them for all the updates uh, on how things are going. Absolutely. And we're going to smash all of the opponents. Yeah. 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 Cool. Good, good right. smack talk, Ross. That's, that's yeah. very effective. Um, but yes, no, we're really, really looking forward to it. Do give it all your support. And uh, the Denture Club podcast will be appearing on there in the guise of, you heard it here first, Kobold Kai. Um, give us weird stuff to play. We will play it. We, yeah. will, we, will, we will take those concepts oh. and then we will make them even weirder and less optimized and... Uh, and fun. Absolutely. And I, I and think that all of the Dangerlings will know that uh, we will definitely do that. And we'll take it, we'll make it weird, we'll make it fun, and we'll make it funny. Um, so, yeah, and Jason's just put in there to, so at Smash Finder on Twitter, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Super Smash Finder. That's the Twitch address. And uh, yeah, he's going to be really excited to see our character sheets. I'm really excited. I can tell Dan's really excited. And I think Ross has got wind. So. Uh, <laughs> 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 don't tell anyone uh, you, you yeah, can't yeah. hear because it's a directional microphone oh well, <laughs> why can i hear it then uh, i don't know <laughs> um no but this has been tremendous because i'm on the other side of your room uh, <laughs> oh shush. um <laughs> No, but seriously, uh, we have we have run out of official time now. Uh, unfortunately, it is four minutes past seven, but this has been so much fun. Not been incredibly productive, but to be honest, it's just been great having your feedback. It's been a big hit, and uh, well done, Dan, for coming up with the theme. Uh, was it you came up with the theme? I, well, I mean, I would say that originally, whoever made the Karate Kid came up with the uh, the theme broadly. Nah. We're standing on the shoulders of giants with we, this. We are standing at the yes, absolutely. Which is <laughs> good, my naked painting. We're kobolds. Know, yes. Oh, that's a that's a crossover reference there to my Fighting Fantasy Tuesday. Yes, indeed, he is looking at my naked painting in the loo. Um, but that's because that's what I have in my toilet, apparently. Oh. Uh, a large oil portrait as well. Of course, of course, from the regal look. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us. It's been f- tremendous. And do jump on the Discord. Give us loads of ideas. Let the uh, let the great mill of your combined minds come up with some interesting stuff. Uh, thank you, Jason, for joining us. And if you want to watch back and uh, watch this nonsense from the beginning, it will be on Twitch for the next two weeks. And... Uh, and on our It'll YouTube on our channel YouTube as well. YouTube as well. Yes, it will. Uh, but I think uh, it's a goodbye from Dan. Uh, it's goodbye from me. I'm going to make some weird stuff. Well, oh, and he's yeah, yeah the, uh, nearly and uh, doesn't he work will... with the virtual background. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, he just he's disappeared just... <laughs> now. Like we, and, and we will make him tell us the weather next week. Uh, what's <laughs> happening on those high seas in old Jellyax? <laughs> <laughs> Great paid out there, Dan. And uh, also, it's goodbye from Ross. It's goodbye from me. me. Wow, was that the first night we've had in a long, long time? Wow, fantastic. You heard it here, Danger Wednesdays. They're heating up. And of course, it's goodbye uh, from me. Uh, it's uh, James, aka Fox of Lockhart. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, yeah, see you on the Discord, folks. But for now, take it easy. Have fun, everyone. Bye. Come on, Kai. Come on, Kai. Come on, Kai. Oh. You guys really need to watch Cobra Kai so you understand all the jokes. <laughs>